Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Hughes, and welcome to the MIFA Podcast. Now, I feel like I'm saying this a lot lately, but this is a special episode of the MIFA Podcast, and it really is. So what makes this episode so special? Well, a couple of things. First of all, it's the second year in a row that we've talked to graduating high school seniors about their college decision. So we're talking to actual students, relaying their own experiences, what they learned, what they wish they knew, and what they can tell other students on their way to college. Those students are Mohammed Saul and Lindsay Blaze. They're both students at Aspen Valley Regional Technical High School, and we were connected with them through their counselor, Maki Faria. So the first of many thanks to her. The second thanks to her is for connecting us with William May the design and visual instructor, and more importantly, the director of Assabet Valley TV, who had the great idea for us to do the show in-house in Assabet Valley's studio. So this was incredible. Not only were we able to have a great studio to record in, but even better than that, the whole thing was shot, edited, mixed, and designed by students at Assabet Valley, and you'll see that they did a phenomenal job So I'm very excited to share this with you. Enjoy making the college decision with students Mohamed Saul and Lindsay Blaze. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the MIFA podcast. You may notice that we are coming to you from a different location. Our digs are much nicer (laughs) this week. We are at Assabet Valley Regional Technical High School, and we're here to talk to two seniors who are ready to go to college. And so with me, uh, they have very graciously offered to be with us today. We have... Lindsay Blaze. Um, I'm from Hudson, Mass., and I'm graduating in 2023. And? And um, I'm Mohamed Saul. I'm from Northboro, Massachusetts, and I'm graduating this year, 2023. Well, congratulations on on graduating, everybody, and thank Thank you you so, so much for being here, I really appreciate it. Thank um, you. It's just something that we like to do. We know this is a long process for students and it can be overwhelming. And to hear uh, perspectives from students who have gone through it and, and what goes into your decision as to where you're gonna go to college and how you make that decision and how you chose the colleges you're applying to is really, really helpful. So again, thank you very, very much. Of course. Um, before we get started, I just wanna ask you, um, was going to college something that you always knew you wanted to do? No. Um, honestly, a lot of my first years of high school, going here when I was going into auto collision, I really thought college is way too expensive, it's a scam, I don't want to go. Wow. But, um, as I got closer to graduating and my mom was like, Lindsay, you should really think about it, like, give it a chance, I, like, looked into it more and I went to one college and I didn't like it. Okay. And I didn't tour another college for a while because I was like, ah, exactly what I meant. Like, I, colleges aren't good, I don't wanna go. But then my mom told me that I should tour more, like just give it a chance, come on. So I did, and then I started liking the other ones that I saw and went from there. And now I'm most likely going to be going to Worcester State. So. Okay. That's where I'm most likely going to go. But um, I did also look at some farther away colleges, but they ended up, in my opinion, being too expensive. So we're going to talk about cost, too. So I'm glad you you, you brought it up because I know a lot of students are worried about the cost of college. And and I'll ask you the same question. Yeah. Yeah. Was something... Uh, was going to college something that you always knew that you wanted to do? Um, I'd say, like, it was mostly likely, mm-hmm. if that's a word. Um, thingy. I've always been, like, academically inclined, so I've always been, like, a pretty good student. So college for me was probably, like, the logical next step. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you said your mom wanted you to take She a was really pushing me towards it more just because she knew that I hadn't looked into it enough mm-hmm. and that I hadn't given it much of a chance. And I just kind of was like, no, I'm not even going to like think about it. I'm not going to look into it because I was just like, it's too expensive. It's not worth it. I can make it on my own. I don't know. 
And, 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 and what you said auto collision, what is it that you like to study? I actually want to be more of an artist. So in auto collision, I have like done custom things on hoods and fenders. So I did a painting iCar contest and uh, I actually haven't heard results back yet, but um, did that last year and I am interested in becoming some sort of an artist and pursuing that. I have painted murals for a town in Maine and have worked with customers there, so I'm looking to further that. And I also want to um, go to college for business so that that can kind of go with it. And um, then I would learn more about it and know kind of more what I'm doing. Because without that background with college, I think it would be a lot harder for me to find my place in what I'm doing, you know? And a lot of people, professions need or look for that diploma mm -hmm. and will probably not hire you if you don't have it. So mm -hmm. it's, I think it's needed. So, so uh, you want to do art for, for a living and, and yeah. you. Different from auto collision. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just very different from auto collision. Yeah. And what what about what's your interest, Mohammed? Um, so I'm in like the design and visual program in the school, so we're we're in the room right now. And I've always enjoyed the arts, mm -hmm. like um, I like design and graphic design and photography and, and that. But I don't particularly see like a a stable future in it. So mm -hmm. what I decided was um, if I were able to blend business into it, so that's why I ended up choosing um, marketing as a as a major for college. So hopefully blending aspects of design and photography and art into the business side of marketing would hopefully give me a, a clear delineated like career path that I could follow. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm hearing yeah, business. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying business. to do something similar yeah. where it's like art by itself. If you're just trying to sell your art, yeah. you're probably, not, it's going to be really hard to sustain uh -huh. your living like that. So I'm trying to combine it with learning more about a background of business and marketing yeah. um, so that I can get somewhere that way and have more of a background and be able to go somewhere like that. So thinking about, you know, cost and you're very sort of focused on, on the return. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, did the cost of college, I know you've already said that it, it played a role yeah, in your thinking about definitely. going to college and, and where you were going to college. What about you, Muhammad? Um, yeah, cost was definitely probably the um, primary like consideration. Mm -hmm. So financially, I wouldn't say that my family's in the best of income brackets. So the cost would definitely be like a big, big um, determining factor for where I would go to school. So initially, I started looking at state schools, knowing you know they'd be very like um, affordable. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, with my academic history, like, I, I was pretty optimistic about, like, my scholarship opportunities. And th thankfully, I got the news this Friday that I could, got a full scholarship to Bentley University. So. Wow. Oh, Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. You can't see around the room, but there's a lot of people yeah. jumping up and down and waving, <laughs> I was, waving I arms. Yeah. Know, That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So thankfully that that option That's opened awesome. up for me. So. That was a happy day at home, I'm sure. And it really was. It yeah. was a little was a little too happy for me. I'm, <laughs> really? I'm, I'm, I'm typically more laid back. Like I like to celebrate <laughs> on my own, but everyone was jumping. So That's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. And so, um, you know, it, it, uh, or do you, you have folks in your family who went to college or didn't go to college, or or I know your mom really pushed you to go. Um, were there other role models that you could look to and say, well, they did it or they didn't do it or this yeah. is, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my dad did not go mm -hmm. and my mom did. Mm -hmm. So opposite ends of the spectrum mm -hmm. there. And um, my dad was definitely just um, supportive of whatever I wanted to do. And was like, yeah, if you want to go to college, go. But, like, yeah, you don't need to. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And whereas my mom was like, you should definitely check it out, even if you don't want to. Like, if you don't end up wanting to go, mm -hmm. it's good that you gave it a chance. You know? Right. So my dad was more like, yeah, it doesn't matter if you don't want to check it out. You know? <laughs> but my mom was more pushy to get me to look into it, which I'm thankful for. Yeah. In the end. So. Yeah. 
Okay. That 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 tracks with my experience too. Yeah. Very pushy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And what about you? Um. So my parents aren't from here. Um. My mom and dad are from Africa. My mm-hmm. mom's from um Guinea. And my dad, they're both from Guinea. So, mm-hmm. um, they didn't go to college. They came here as immigrants, and you know, uh, the immigrant background, like the U.S. immigrant situation, is like very hard working. Mm-hmm. So they work very hard for me and my siblings to have an opportunity in this country. So, um, they definitely wanted me to go to college, and mm-hmm. I was pretty keen on it because like I definitely would like to be like the first generation of my family to, to go to school and succeed and I have an older brother um he's 21 and he goes to Framingham State so we're definitely like he's, he, he is definitely someone I look up to when it comes to questions about college is there something that you learned from him when he went through it or um thinking just talking about finances about school um I see him he works very hard too in school and also he works a job at the same time he's he doesn't want to end up like in large amounts of debt, so mm-hmm. he works very hard at, yeah, at his job and also at school at the same time. So that's definitely something that I, I look to when it comes to guidance for school. So how many colleges did you apply to, Mohammed? Um, I could probably list them. Uh, UMass Boston, UMass Amherst, UMass Lowell, Worcester State, uh, BU, uh, Boston College, Northeastern, Bentley. So that's eight. Eight. Yeah, I was kind of on my fingers too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Eight call and, and I think I applied to five different ones, five or six. Mm. Um, but it was 